Uh, that little intro, you like that? Yeah, it scared me. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Uh, we're up, mate. We're live. How you doing, Hunter? Oh, I'm fantastic. How are you? Good, man. Thanks for watching the show last night in the comments section. Of course. Thanks yeah. for having me on today. Are you out in Cali? Yeah, I'm in Berkeley right now. Yeah, they left you all alone, eh? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go. It just, I have to train. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, what's coming up? The trials, obviously, but what's before that for you? I got uh, Westmont Pro Series here in a couple of weeks, and uh -huh. I am going to the Mission Series too, but I don't know when I'm going to swim there. Okay. We're on the blocks here, and I guess in terms of that, we can have a look at a little uh, who is in this final here. So I, guess I might be going... a little ahead of you. Oh, you are? Yeah, we're, we're already at the 50. Let me have a look here. Let's see where I am. Oh, yeah. My, at, my guys are at the 25. Yeah, I'm at the 25. I'm with you, Josh. So it looks like, Hunter, you're at 25 ahead of us. That's all right. We've got time to catch up. <laughs> So David Johnston, lane three, kind of up at the top on our screen. But down the bottom, lane eight's going out real fast. ASU. Ooh. ASU, man. There we go. Having the meat, getting those points. Nice. Josh, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm great. I'm glad to be with you guys and catch mm -hmm. up a little bit. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, obviously, this is some of the best swimming on the planet right now <laughs> yeah oh gosh this crazy fast. crazy fast yeah we already got some comments here josh uh i guess these kids hey, attended right. the swim clinic there we go love it so cool my hometown san antonio love oh, getting nice. back there hey by the way i did a prediction show early in the week and ross dan i think was sitting at 10th and i just randomly picked pick ross dan to win it and here we go he's leading this thing in the early heats 1430 that was a good pick right there oh i, I watched it he had bodies on people oh yeah nice that's cool i love it a texas it. guy alex zettel did well this morning too yeah so if we get two two up that'll help a lot for texas Ooh, david yeah. johnson's looking good now he's in the lead How do you know who's in? How do you know who's in what? Stroke. How do you know who's in what lane? Oh, I guess he's a Texas kid, and then you've got so you got Georgia Tech, Florida, Texas, Kentucky, NC State, Georgia, Alabama, and ASU across the pool. Okay, this Kentucky kid is uh, has got a buffer on them. He's a freshman too, Levi Sandage. Okay, Levi. I missed that two hundred split. Hmm. It looks like they're about 208 at the 250. Did you ever do one of these, Josh? I think we're losing Josh every now and then. A little frozen here and there. Hopefully he'll come back to us. Hunter, is there like a group of you guys out there training? Um, we got some of the women. Um all the pro team and a couple guys that are back in the water from Pac 12s. But it's when a small you, group. When you say all the pro team, how many are in the pro team? Ah, we used to have five, I think. It's uh, me, Abby, Murph, Sean, um, Alicia, and Izzy just left, though. So it's just four of us now. Who's Izzy? Um, yeah, shoot. She went to Florida, just transferred to Florida. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Josh has left us. Him. He'll come back. He'll come back. I think he's just having some Wi-Fi issues, which is pretty normal. But this Texas kid's going out on it. Johnson. He's he's looking good early. Did he yeah. also win the two in the five? No, he didn't win the two, did he? 500 he did. That's the same kid that won the 500? I think so. And Isabel. he let off in a 129. Yes, Isabel Ivy. Thank you. No, there we go. Um, I think he let out in a 129 on the 8 free relay, too. All right. Question here for you. How often do you and Ryan get to duke it out with Alaska? 
Um, I don't often train backstroke, but if we like do a suit up set or anything, I typically throw down. It, it's pretty rare though. Hobson was the winner. That's right. Uh, we're we're out of our minds. It's been a long week, all right. I'm glad we have the comments. The comment section is awesome, actually. You were in it yet last night, so yeah. thank you for your comments. But uh, they keep me honest. Nate's not here tonight. Nate's gone to a birthday party, so this is going to be a bit of a mess. Nate's usually kind of corralling us a little bit and keeping us in line, but he's gone to a birthday party for his kids, so he's out. But, yeah. Johnson was runner-up. Okay, so we weren't, we weren't that far off. He uh, was in the mix. At least he was in it. He was in it. Yeah, he was in the mix. Okay. He was in the mix. That's good. Um, so you don't train backstroke very often then? No, I I train almost exclusively freestyle. Really? Wow. Why is that? Um, well, backstroke hurts, but also if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. Um, so when's this, when are you going to pop off a 40, 4,800 free? I am. I'm 48 too in the 100 free. Oh, dang. Look at you. All right. So we're talking about a 47 now, huh? I'm hoping to go seven low this wow. uh, this summer. Okay. Low, mid, mid to low. That'll put you in the mix, man. That'll be nice. Yeah. I got to do it on the relay. I tied Drew for fourth at last year's trials. So. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And then where do you find... That extra, let's say, let's say it's a full second. So you go forty-eight two to forty-seven two. Where do you find the second? Are you looking at it as a, a little bit on the front, a little bit on the back, or the majority somewhere? Majority is definitely going to be in the front. Okay. Um, but this will be the first year that I go in for just one, one to two meets. Because last year I had to taper for big tens, then NCs, then mm. trials, then mm. worlds. Mm. This year it'll just be maybe 90% in for trials and then all in for worlds. Okay. Nice. David Johnson is tearing this up, man. He looks good. He putting a beat down on the freshman kid out there. You have to hate yourself to do this event. It's, wow. it's so long. So many turns. It makes no sense how you even, uh, how it's even possible to do this event. This is just, yeah, make me dizzy. I would not enjoy training for this one. It's crazy because my roommate at OSU was Charlie Clark. Mm. Um, you can just tell him, be like, go minute or 102 or any time, and he'll be able to replicate it. And that's a skill that I think is very exclusive to distance. Yeah. Hunter, they're calling for some magic tricks. You got anything that you can show us right now? Ah, uh, geez. Um, of course he does. That's what I got. Good call, Tim. Very good call. Yeah, can you All right. see if I can focus it? Yep. Can you see King of yep. Spades? Yep, King of Spades. Oh, dude, how'd you change that so quick? That's the trick. <laughs> so, that's all I got that really works on camera, I guess. That was a good one. I liked it. Slide of hand right there. Oh, yeah. You don't have any frogs coming out of your mouth like David Blaine? Gosh, uh, they, it's a little different type of magic than what I do. <laughs> uh, oh, is that the Kentucky guy catching him? No. No, the Kentucky kid is in lane four. He's getting beat up. Oh, so that looks like NC State then? That is NC State. Will Gallant. Will Gallant. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, he's having a run at him. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's catching him. He's doing, he's coming at him. He looks a little bit like Will Freeman. He swims a little like Will Freeman from Georgia. That's that's not a fun job either. The stick man. Did you, you ever, you ever had to be stick man for someone? I've done it a couple of times. Yeah, you just end up getting soaked. Which is cool at like the elite meets because um, they just have a screen on the bottom of the pool. Oh, they do? At least they did in Budapest. Oh wow! Oh, I'm a little ahead. He 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 caught him. He did catch him. Yeah, he look at that! Him. Wow, passed him. Gone. Yeah, wow. Hunter, what's your best result at NCAA's? Fifth hundred back last year. Fifth. That was your best, man. 
So you're I'm, just not you're just not an underwater guy, huh? No, nah, I mean it. I can when it comes to yards, I consider myself more of a freestyler. Um, because um, I mean, we got people like Brendan Burns, Casper, Destin, all people with crazy underwaters, and I just can't compete. Mm -hmm. Like, right. there's not enough time on the surface for me to catch them. Right. Did it bother you? Like, was was it something that bugged you because you knew how good you were at backstroke, but you couldn't actually put it into your short course swimming for your team? I mean, it, it was a contributing factor in why I went pro. It, it's tough on confidence to know that right. you're at an elite level of backstroke, but you're getting beat by everyone. I mean, yeah. before my junior year, I, I don't think I finaled. I, I oh, mean, really? I finaled my sophomore year. Wow. Did you swim the two back as well? No. Way too many turns. <laughs> Long course, I would consider it, but right now it conflicts with the hundred free. Mm. All right, Re really, you consider it long course? Wow, hundred free or two hundred back? I know which one I'd take. Yeah, one's a lot less painful. Yeah, I mean both hurt, but one's over quicker. This guy's—he's gone. Galant's gone. Look at him. He just took off. He was just uh, holding back there. NC, St NC State's having a good meet too. Yeah. They, they started the thing off hot. Rip How do they do with ACCs? Um, they would have won, wouldn't they? They would have won ACCs. Who would have beaten them? No one. I mean, Virginia wouldn't have beaten them at the, on the men's side. Yeah, they would have won. Anyone in the comment section tell us the scores at ACCs? I think I know who won the women. Yeah, well, yes. We know that. I want Josh to come back in because I got a question for him actually. I want to I want to ask him something about this whole new idea of racing versus resting and suiting versus not suiting and I want to get his opinion as a kind of an old school statesman but also someone that has an opinion on the Texas result because they, they do it a certain way as well. But I think, I think what we're seeing is kind of this, you know, NC States, ha I mean, um, ASU is having some success with kind of racing fast all season. And then they're still backing it up here. They're, they're swimming pretty good. What's your thoughts on that Hunter? Do you, you like to have one big swim in the end of the year or do you like to swim fast all season? Um, I like to prepare for one to two meets, but I'm more of an in-season swimmer, so I'll hold right off my best times all year. Oh, really? Um, and I, I don't think there has been a year that I haven't dropped time, so it's kind of tough for me to gauge on what's normal or not. Um, but no, why, I, why are you able to swim so fast when you're training so hard? I, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been doing this long enough to... Uh, to truly figure it out. Um, yeah. But I mean, Fort Lauderdale, I went 40, I want to say, yeah, 48, nine. So mm. seven tenths off my best time. Wow. But that's lifting four days a week and wow. heavy swim training. So yeah. to me, that says that I should be able to drop some real time once I've rested. Yeah. But it, it kind of messes with you mentally a little bit. You're like, mm. why am I swimming this fast? Like, am yeah. I not working hard enough? What, mm -hmm. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And and you've got the same coach, right, that you've had for a while? Uh, two years. Yeah. Josh, you're back, man. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry, I had to go through my phone instead of my old laptop. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, that happens. But you look good. You look clean now. Hey, um, we are what are, we're we're a couple of minutes away from the end of this race. I want to ask your opinion on something. Uh, we've seen what ASU has done in their approach uh, to this season, primarily where they've been racing all fast all season. They've been suiting up. A lot of people thought they might not be able to back it up at the big meet. Um, obviously, they won, you know, the the Pac 12s and they're they're going to finish second here. It looks like so. Cal's going to get the upper hand at the end of the at end of the meet, but uh, end of the season too. But 
what, what do you think of the varying approaches now they're taking? Um, I like, you know, when Michael Andrews started uh, racing every meet mm -hmm. with the tech suit and shaving every meet, mm -hmm. you know, and he made it work for a long, mm -hmm. long time. Mm -hmm. And so I always thought, you know, we train. So I kind of adopted that too. And I thought that makes some sense because we train so hard for so long. Mm -hmm. And why not have some fun when you're racing? Why not have a tech suit? Why not practice at that race pace dynamic that Bob Bum was talking about on an interview the other day? Mm -hmm. Okay, that that was a huge mile for this getting with NC State guy. Yeah, he, NC State, good win, real good ran, win. He ran David Johnston down. That second half was huge. He did. He back half that big one. Was that is that one one of his teammates congratulate him? Yeah, they ran over. That's good. That's cool. Yeah, those NC State guys were pumped. Yeah, the whole team's coming now. Look at them; they're all over there. Yeah, they're all running to lane four. Congratulate that guy. His back half was unbelievable. Yeah, he went by yeah. David like it was nothing. But Where David had go? David had a great swim. I, I yeah, what was the winning time? Because I'm Ross Dan might have he, he he might be top top one or two. Ross Dan. He's at mm -hmm. he's NC State as well. I think that might have been Ross. I think Ross might have been. The, the guy to go cheer him up. Mm. That's a three, almost three second drop for uh, Will. What did he, what did he go? Uh, it looks like he fourteen twenty eight, and he was fourteen thirty one last year. Oh yeah, twenty eight. There we go. So looks like NC State got first and second in the mile. Does wow. that put Charlie Clark at third? I don't have the results. Yeah, I don't. Yep, there we go. Okay. Thirty three. So. Oh, yeah, no, Jake, no. Jake second, 33. David Johnson, 35. Kentucky oh. guy, 1440. Arizona State, fifth. Big points for them. Florida, sixth. Well, yeah. So you got, but you got the early heat. So the early heat had Ross Dan. He went 1430. So looks like NC State goes one, two in this. Yeah. Wow. Who would have wow. thought the wow. sprint? The sprint school. The sprint school one, goes two one, two in the mile. mile. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Dang. Good That's for them. Great. Okay, so David's fourth, actually. Mm -hmm. David Johnson, Texas, fourth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. that's fun. Elizabeth for the interview. So cool. She does a great job. Yeah. Oh, so that was Ross. Looks like Ross, they're going to go uh, do the interview together. Oh, oh, so it was him. Yeah, there we go. I'm assuming him that's dressed. him. I think so. I think you're right. <laughs> or he's just standing there and wants to be on TV. <laughs> That's Ross. That's got to be him, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. He looks pretty happy, pretty sincere. Yeah, I'm not that familiar with this guy. Um, he helped recruit me to NC State when I opened the portal. Super nice kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I think he's from Ohio. Could be wrong in that, but. Charlie Clark, they're saying he got seventh. That's an improvement. He finished eighth the last two years. Okay. Nice. No, oh, this is neat. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there's the boys together. Look at that. So obviously, Braden kept those guys moving, and that brings us back to the point I was making earlier. Bob kept these guys moving and training cardiovascularly. They've been great all year long. Mm -hmm. Cardiovascularly, they were great at conference, and they found a way to get better. Four weeks later, three weeks later, he, now even now here. So I don't think it's a tech suit. I think the tech suit gave him some confidence and made him have more fun to keep doing the hard work. And that hard work has paid off. Yeah, I like it, man. It's look, it's a it's a new way of doing things. I think individually people have been doing it, but now we're looking at a team wise, te a team mentality of like, hey, we're all going to suit up, we're all going to race really fast, and that's that's different for an NCAA team at the top like that to kind of take that approach, isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad Bob gave some credibility to it because, yeah. you know, no one's more old school than he is as far as yardage mm -hmm. and training. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, when you get to the meets, let's have some fun. Yeah. You know, I tell this story, Brett, that I had a, I had a very long career. You and I were lucky to keep mm -hmm. racing after yeah. college as pros. Mm -hmm. And let's see from age 13, to say say 33 so i had i had 20 years of of elite racing and in those 20 years i had 10 
let's say 10 weekends mm. where I was in the zone, 10 weekends where I knew I was going to go fast. Everything was, was felt great. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't matter what the suit was. I was going to swim well. So 10 weekends in the zone out of 20 years. That's a terrible ratio. If you think about it. Yeah. This is a hard sport. We train so long, so hard. Why not have a few more zone weekends? Why not have a nice suit? Why not, if you're spending money taking a whole team somewhere, why not, you know, be able to go fast? Yeah. So, yeah. No, I'm I, with you, man. I'm with you. I agree. I agree. And uh, it's good to see a team adopting that mentality, I think. I think, I think now – you're going to see a lot more teams say, you know what, maybe ASU onto something. Let's go have some fun with this. Let's suit up more often. Let's race fast more often. I think you're going to see it. I think, I think there's going to be a shift in the NCAA. I really do. I do. I think Bob has given it some credibility and more people will try it. And I, I personally uh, like having the suits on. My college team, we raced suits on um, just all but one or two of our meets. Um, the other team didn't want to wear suits, so we didn't wear suits. And, um, but division two, like me and division three, hopefully we can get more used, you know, be able to have older suits to use, you know, division one, they have all kinds of suits laying around. Yeah. But division right. two and three, we don't have as many old suits to use at dual meets. Yeah. Which we're, we're having a little bit of, uh, are you getting a little bit of crackling in Josh's microphone, Hunter? Yeah. I thought it was on my end. Yeah. I think there's just a little crackling on your mic. You, we got a great picture now, Josh. And then, and then the, the microphone has decided to play up on us now. Sorry. No, it's just getting a little, a little crackly. That's all. I don't know if it started that way. That might. No, it just, just came on the last minute. There we go. Ooh, the football jersey's new for OSU. I haven't seen that. Yeah. They're going with the jerseys. Oh, there's the famous Jeff Kostoff. The famous Jeff. Tempered Miler. Where is he record. at? Where is he at now? Well, that's a good question. Didn't he do a stint at Indiana after Stanford? Or yeah. maybe not. He may have. He may have. Notre Dame on the podium. Yeah. There's David Johnston, great Miler, great distance guy. I've got my uh, burn orange soda. Orange, <laughs> orange Fanta with a hint of Coke. <laughs> nice. Go, go burn orange, Longhorns. But man, it was all NC State going one, two in that mile. Those guys are pumping up their plaque. Yeah. Oh, they, how long has the Wolf Pack been around? Because it's really close to the Longhorn. They're doing this. And it, oh yeah, they're doing the yeah. That is a little. They're doing the Wolf close. Ears yeah. instead of Longhorns. Yeah. Oh, Brian Barnes. Brian Barnes is is actually. Is he at NC State? He's at he NC State. Is. Brian he Barnes, is one of the assistants at NC Brian was on the first USA junior team with me back in 1989. Oh, wow. That's wild. Oh, you Brian. know who's at NC State? The, the coach at NC the, is – um, is uh, what's his name? You, ben, Bernardino. Thank you, Bobby. Bobby's like – Oh, is Mark, is Mark still there? Bernardino is the coach. Yeah, of course. That's what? why they're swimming fast in the mile. That makes perfect sense. Mark's yeah. on the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I swear sometimes my brain, when I'm on a live show, my brain just decides to stop working and I can't remember anybody's name. That's, so That's why you have people on the show. <laughs> exactly. That's why I have the comment section. You were great in the comment section last night. I was like, we're going to get him in. That was awesome. Um, all right. Well, we're, we're going to go to some faster events next, I'd imagine. We're going to go into the, the 200 back here. And this looks like a, a big one for Cal. Cal's going to score some points in this one. Oh, yeah. Um, tell us about this kid, man. Tell us about this Destin Lasco kid. We don't, I don't know him like you do. Tell us about him. Uh, one of the like most pure people I know. Like always smiling, even at like 5.30 in the morning. He's always got a smile. Mm. Um, but I'll tell you, he's got some nasty underwaters. Really? Like, I I think he can find his way on the world's team this summer for mm. um, for the two-back. Two-back, yeah. But, I mean, he also throws down, like, he threw down, I think, a 129 split on the, uh, on the two-free relay. 
Mm. He just does whatever he wants because he has great underwaters. Does he train that way? Like he trains like an animal? Um, he actually trains a lot of IM with Murph. Mm. Okay. Um, but I mean, I've seen him. He destroyed. Uh, he absolutely destroyed me earlier this summer. We were doing 50s back, and it was all short course. Um, and it was just repeat 50s. And he'd had me by a body length and a half before I even came up. Oh, really? It was, <laughs> it was horrifying. So there, it looks like on the TV they're having – Trouble putting the flags back in. Oh, the flag issues, yeah. Oh, we got two down. Mm. Um, they're they're focused on the TV. They're focusing on this guy from Southern Illinois, the Salukis, Luard. Yeah, yeah. He had a huge breakout year. They did that yesterday too. Um, all right, so Cal, Cal's got two in the B and two in the A. Jeez, Cal backstroke. They just never stop, do they? Cal backstroke. Jeez. Yeah, two up, two down in the 200 back. Mefford, Mefford was on the Tokyo team. Great kid from Sacramento. Got to do clinics for him when he was 10 years old. Really? Oh yeah. Brother. I, I stayed at their house. And you train with you train with those guys, Hunter. Oh, that's yeah. his brother? Yeah, so Bryce Mefford was on the Tokyo team. This is Colby Mefford. His oh, that's brother. right. You're right. You're right. Colby, the youngest one. Yeah. How many Meffords are there? It's three. Three of them. There's three. I didn't know there were three. It's like the yeah, Davis brothers. Yeah. It's like the Davis kids. How many Davises are there these days? We got just six. Ah, just six. That's, just that's, six. A, that's a that's a relay and a couple of reserves. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> but only only one swims. My son Luke is at Missouri. He's a two hundred fly guy from Missouri. Oh. So and we're gonna see we're gonna see Missouri in the next heat. I think. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I guess we I guess we're still having audio issues. Is there any way to fix it, or is that what What are you speaking through, Josh? It's his phone. It's just my phone. Oh, your phone. Um, maybe is it is it sitting down on something? No, I'm holding it. I, I was it was on my computer, and I thought my computer yeah. fan was going to make was making that. Ma yeah, making I, don't know. Ma I don't know why it's crackling, but every time you speak, it crackles for some reason. I don't know why it's popping like that. Do you have a hot spot? Mobile hotspot. Yeah, let me try it. Yeah, it's just popping. What I'm know. thinking is, uh, it's probably better to take poor video. He can use his phone as a hotspot to fix the internet on his laptop. Listen, don't act like you know we know what we're doing over here. All right, Hunter. I've been walking through it. <laughs> you can. I oh, good. Oh man, they're making them sit. And they can't oh, get the flags. Sitting, sitting down. No. Don't want to sit. You're all ready to go. Yeah, yeah. They're on the chill. Last night. Dang. That's okay. a latex cap in lane five. <laughs> Josh, Josh is on AOL dial-up. <laughs> Classic. Uh, someone's in a latex. Who's in a latex? Um, oh, yeah. That kid in lane five, he's in latex. God, he's going for it. He's going old school on this. Or well, the school couldn't afford the, the new caps. They just went with the latex. Where's he at? What school's he at? It's the one that Josh mentioned earlier. I've never seen that logo before. S-I-U-C. S-I-U-C. That's what it's coming up as. S-I-U-C. Can someone put an abbreviation of S-I-U-C? What did you say S-I-U-C was? Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois. Yeah, Amanda Beard and I did a clinic near there the other day, and uh, it's you fly into St. Louis. It's kind of near St. Louis, but uh, but on the Illinois side, and it's a great great school. Jeff Hansen, the coach there, has really uh, got that team going. And uh, I still don't know what a Saluki is though. <laughs> That's him. We're still popping a bit. Damn. Oh man, it's a bummer. It's a bummer. Southern Illinois. Carbondale. Oh, it looked like uh, the Southern Illinois kid went very deep on its start. It could have just been the bad angle on the camera. He's up and racing. Are you at the 50? Um, we are almost to the 100. Oh, wow. You're ahead of me. Wow. You're, you're way ahead. Yeah, just turned at the 100. 48-10 from Georgia. 
Oh, geez, you're you're a good fifty yards ahead of me. Dang. Ooh. I might have to refresh this. What? Yeah. Says- I, I'm getting to the hundred now. Oh. I mean, I can just I can back up and. Oh no no! I, I had to refresh. It's weird. It makes you. It does this like weird refresh thing on you, where it holds you back for a second. I'm at All the. Right. I'm at the 150. You coming into the 150? Uh, we just hit the 150. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm with you now. I think. 175. Yeah, I'm probably like five seconds behind you still, but that's better than it was. Georgia, they're usually pretty tough. Oh, outside smoke. Woo. Last wall. Boom. Outside smoke. Oh, yeah. Lane one. Oh, lane one with the finish there. Nice. Who's in lane one? That was Aiden. No, oh, the, the Auburn kid. Okay. <laughs> Auburn kid. Oh. Hey, he, don't don't sit on the lane line. It's the consolation final. Please don't <laughs> sit on the lane line. Is he going? Do not. Don't. Oh, don't. He fell off. Thank God. That was that was that was somebody <laughs> telling him not to do that. Okay, good. <sighs> well, we, Auburn's we, got some mojo though. Josh, That's we're good. gonna have we're gonna have trouble if he sat on the lane line in the console final. Come on, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Only okay. only at Worlds and Olympics and NCs. You gotta win. You gotta, oh, you win. gotta win that thing. Yeah. You I'm don't not- finish ninth and sit on the lane line. No way. I'm not having it. Uh, well, did they build that outdoor pool at Auburn when you were there or before you were there? Uh, right, bef- right, right in between. Right. So like, obviously I left as an athlete and then I came back as a coach and I think the pool was built right, right before I got back. Um, just the bare bones of it. Right. The, they dug it out and put, you know, but basically when I got back in 2006 is when we, when we got into that outdoor pool. So yeah, it was, it was nice to have it. Adam Stoffel, 139.3. It's a great finish. Just to have you Josh, do you remember Adam Jerga? Yeah. Yeah. He was commenting yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. He's my breaststroke boy from, from Auburn. Yeah. One of the team leaders when we won our championships. I remember that. I remember we, uh, you guys always came in with a good swagger and uh, had a great run. Celebrating is okay. Just don't sit on the lane line if you win a consolation final. That's all. <laughs> you can you can smile, you can high five, you can do whatever you like. Do not sit on that lane line. <laughs> smack the water if you do a best time and you're proud smack, of it. Smack but, the water. Like, there you go. Thank you, Hunter. I, I don't think I'll ever sit on the lane line. It's just not my style. You will when you win the Olympics in Paris. Don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, get you up there. can quote me on that. Get up there. <laughs> get up there, Hunter. We'll give you permission. You have our permission, Hunter. You <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often, Hunter. So you got to kind of maximize it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, first things first, got to win in Paris. Take it when you can get it, man. This this is going to be a, a heck of a race. Yeah, I mean, Ian Grum, yeah. he's he's been popping off lately. What's the NCA record in this? I'm looking. One thirty-five from Murph. 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 135.73, okay, from 2016, okay. I think we're going to see it go, 35.7. That's quick, but... If it goes, it's staying with Cal. Oh, yeah. I didn't know Carson was in here. Oh, yeah, but I don't think Carson's going 135 here, is he? No, only... only no, I just didn't know he was in it. Yeah, yeah, he's in it. Yeah, so Texas, Cal has two up. Texas has one, one up, and ASU has two up. Yeah. So there's Jack from Missouri. Woohoo! Jack Dahlgren. So you got to give a little shout out to Missouri, where my son swam. There we go, and Jack. That is a yellow board. Wow, freshman from ASU sneaks in the top eight. Yeah. Man. This is going to be tight between Destin and Hugo. Hugo is a great backstroker. You're right. He's a, he's a beautiful backstroker. It's just uh, can he fight to that finish to get that win? That'll be that'll be the thing. Laska is going to be flying that last twenty five. Yep. Here we go. Hmm. Lasko has a pretty arch and a pretty entry. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, racing. Ooh. Hugo looks a little off on that start. Hmm. Yeah. If Dustin wins to the hundred, the race is over. Yeah. But he's trailing a little bit. Because he'll just close, huh? Oh yeah. So you got you got the ASU kid. Cos. Cubic Cos. I just think there. I think Bob kept these guys in great shape. They must have done some great yardage to hold their yeah. fitness. Well, it's like you said, you know, Bob's never going to not do the yardage, but he's also going to let them race fast, which is great. You know, he's, he's mixing in the old with the new. Yeah. There's oh, Lasko. Yeah. Lasko in the lead at the hundred and then off he goes. He just went into hyperdrive right there. Yeah. This is, this is crazy. Wow. His dolphins are it's really like, good. Yeah. It's like he just shifts gear yeah. and is like, He'll okay. Still kick out to the 15, I bet. Oh, no, 12. Oh, man. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, he, he's crushing it. Hugo's having a good swim. Uh, oh, missed it by a tenth. No, are you serious? We're still, oh, yeah, we're oh, watching yeah. the last lap now. Yeah, yeah, you're way ahead of us again. Missed it by a tenth. Oh, okay, wow. I, oh, what was that? Oh, yes, that was so close. 35 8. Hugo second. 35 8. Both of them had good swims. Dang. Ah, uh, Murphy's record is safe. <laughs> Berkeley fans. I think Dustin has two more years of eligibility, though. Does oh, he really? Gosh. Wow, two more years with the with the COVID year. Yeah. Dang! Oh, wow. So he's a junior. I think he's a junior. He's a junior. It says it on the sheet here, junior. Yeah. So he'll he'll get that record. He'll get that record. He he's just getting started. Yeah, he made He's going to be really dangerous here very soon. They're showing this replay at the hundred where he made his move, and yeah, I mean, kind, of a, kind of an interesting, kind of a funky entry with his left hand, but it works. He's showing a little slow mo. Why isn't Hunter at NCAs? He he talked about this, Hunty. You're you're at practice. He's getting ready for his yeah. trials. That's why. I wish I was there. Yeah. So, Hunter, how many years eligibility do you have left, technically? Two. I'm okay. in the same. I um, almost said I'm in the same class as Destin. Uh, if I were in college, I'd be a senior. Yeah. Holy cow. That was so close. Mm. Look at those last four guys. Were one, the last four guys were one-tenth apart from each other. Oh. And Carson Foster was eighth by just a couple hundreds. Jack Galdron seventh, Casper. But the ASU guys stepped it up. Both ASU guys had got more points. Yeah, yeah. They had good swims, the ASU guys, yeah. Dang. Another, another dual interview with Elizabeth Beisel, Destin and Hugo together. Hugo with the chain. You think Carson's doubling two back to fly? No, no, he's already had his swims, hadn't he? He, he went, yeah. he went his 4 a.m., his 2 a.m., and his, his two back. Yeah, Carson's done for the evening. Yeah, he's done. Oh. He might be on the 400 free relay. I don't know. I, I bet he would be. I was just thinking whether he saved up or not if he had that two fly. So, Brett, mm-hmm. we had we had NC2A's my senior year here in 94. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Minnesota pool was about four years old by then. All right. They, they built it in 90, and, and they built it in the middle of the old football stadium. Oh. So when we first went there in 90, uh, you could see the remnants of the old wooden football stadium around the pool. Oh, wow. When we came back in 94, the, football, the old wooden football stadium was, was down, and a new hotel was built next to it. Mm. and that was always nice to have that hotel right next to the pool. hotel yeah we always stayed at that hotel didn't we yeah it was yeah. nice we we uh we won here freshman year my freshman year in 97 yeah yeah it was a good pool no it's not it's not as deep it's only seven or seven and a half feet deep the whole way instead of nine 
but mm. it's a lot of good swims here. It races fast, doesn't it? Yeah. They're showing highlights of last night's Hunter Fly with Yusef's win. That was pretty cool. Oh, I love Yusef. Yeah, that was a great win. Oh, because <laughs> they got that they got the hundred free now. He could win again. Yeah. This guy's this guy's a dark horse for the hundred free. I mean, yeah, this is gonna this hundred free is gonna be dirty fast. It, it is gonna be fast and it's gonna be it's gonna come down to the wire too. It's very deep. I mean, you got you got 41 3, 41 1, 41 1, 40.8, 40.9, 40.2, 40.3, 40.3, uh, 41.3, sorry. 41.3 was eighth into the final. Think about that. 41.3 was eighth into the final. That yeah, is that, Josh, what is going on, buddy? That that would easily win like years and years of uh, years, years, easily. And now you can't even get in. Unbelievable. So deep. I mean, even, even if you go to like 30th place, it's they're doing amazing times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, it took a 40, it took under 42 to make top 16. Under 42 to make Gosh. top 16. Jeez. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, big Danny Kruger just barely got in at 41.9, and Luke Hobson was 41.99 at 17th. With that, oh, that, wow. really hurt, that really hurt Texas. Who would have thought a 41.9 doesn't get back? Yeah. What about the poor kid in who's ninth, 41-4, and he doesn't make top eight? <laughs> oh, jeez. That's, that's got to be Notre Dame's. Oh, Notre Dame. Softball. That's got to be Notre Dame's school record. You go school record, 41-4. Oh, yeah. yeah, and in ninth. All right, maybe we'll let him sit on the lane line if he wins. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Uh, no. Back in when I first started swimming in the 80s, Matt Biondi's American record was 41-8 forever and ever. Mm, and ever. Yeah. And if you were 41.8 or anywhere near 42 low, you were a god. Mm -hmm. And look at all these guys. Six, 17 guys go 41. Yeah, that's wild. Wild. But you know what? I think uh, this – this I wasn't picking Yusuf to win that 100 fly last night, and he dropped almost a full second. Uh, and, look, I'm not saying he's going to drop a full second again tonight, but if he even dropped half a second, he's, he's going to get the win, I think. He's a gamer. He's in the yeah. zone. Yeah, I mean. Oh, this is fun. Elizabeth Beisel's handing out the awards for the two back. Is she? Yeah. Okay. So Jack getting his seventh place award. Carson just got his eighth place award. Jack pumping it up. Um, NC State got a guy in there, Casper. But so tell us about Jack Alexi. Yeah, I don't know much about him either. Good point. Who is Jack Alexi? Do y'all look at Hunter, do you and Jack look alike? Or is that Jack's little brother? Sorry? Do you look like Jack Alexi? Is that right? Uh, we have the same frame. I don't know about facially whether we look the same. Um, is he a big boy, is he? Yeah, he he's probably 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, oh, okay. All right. All right. I um, no, he's a monster in training. Um, it's pretty much always Bjorn and um, Bjorn and Jalexi going at it. Really? Yeah, it's, which is so fun because Bjorn is just so good at underwaters. Jack doesn't do underwaters. If you watch his prelims, he just comes up and goes. Old school. I like that. Like I, I'd take him as a pick to make the team this year as well. In the in the hundred free, not not individually, but since we get six, I I mm. I'd put money on him being top six easily. Is that with or without Dressel? With, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen with Dressel, but uh, regardless, he'll be top six. Yeah. Can you dunk a ball? Yes, I can. Yes, he can. Yes, he's an athlete. Of course he can. Athlete. Athlete. Brett, did oh, you ever dunk? I can't dunk. I can't I can barely touch the the the, the rope underneath the rim. But, <laughs> <laughs> you went you went that fast with a with a low vertical? I was in a movie. Uh, they made a movie about me. It's called uh, <laughs> White Man Can't Jump. <laughs> 
I got I got my highest was a 23 vertical inch, yeah. 23 inch vertical leap. Wow, that was the best I ever got. Yeah, jumping was not my thing. I was more power up front. I I could pop I could pop some power with my arms, but I couldn't pop much power with my legs. Yo, Cheney's in the B. Yeah. 41, 41 7. It's still respectable. Oh, very good time. There's too much talent in this B final. Well, you know what it is? There's a lot of fifth years here. A lot of big, big boys. You know, we got, yeah. we got some fifth year seniors in this. Uh, yeah, I think Danny's that's playing a factor. Yeah. And they're racing. Off and racing. What's the approach here, Hunter? Just, just blaze as fast as you can with breathing. I breathe every stroke, and it's easy speed first fifty, and then everything else you have on the last fifty. Okay, I'm telling you, ASU is is ready. They have three guys in this heat, three ASU guys in this consolation final. They have got all kinds of mojo. It's tight across the board too, wavy too, very wavy. It helps if you have a little underwaters here, I think. But yeah. looks like this. Uh, Who's that coming through there? Santos, Tennessee had a huge last 25. 45. Tennessee, yeah. That's the Brazilian okay. kid. Yeah. That was a great finish from uh, Santos. Like, he looked like he was almost in, like, half a breath. Yeah, he jammed a little He mm. jammed a little bit, but his stroke that last 15 was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. He was so open. He's good long course, too. Yeah, he's got real nice round, round open stroke. Yeah, he didn't tighten up bad at all. That was a pretty good finish. That was a pretty good finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he got it right on, right on the wall. Right. I think that's how the that's how the final's going. Go. It'll be close. Grand House, Isaiah, you boys. Cal's got two up, so they're going to seal it after this. ASU had three down right there, and they locked their second place in. So I think it's a lock. Cal win. ASU second. Really? Could Texas divers pass ASU? No, uh, Texas no. didn't. Texas didn't get any up, did they? No, just just one guy in console. So one, no, yeah. mm. no factor. Yeah, oh, they rent. I rent in a room. Mm. Look, looks like a couple of seats open there at the Minnesota Stadium. Then looks like a full. Looks like a full house, but looks like you could get in if you had to. Oh yeah. Here we go. Boys are walking. What do you think Those of the pyrotechnics? Are you, you okay with the pyrotechnics? They make them walk through fireworks on both sides, and they last for all eight guys. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, you get one of those in the eye, you know? It's, uh, it's game over. Yeah. You probably feel it. Like it's not hot, though. No? Like, I don't, I don't know how that works. I never had sparks. But... <laughs> there, there, there may be more indoor safe. Back at trials, um, I guess it was 2008, 2012, they had some really real fire. And mm, you could the feel the heat mm. at uh, the Olympic Trials Stadium. I think this, I think Hunter's right. It's just kind of sparklers that don't really do much. All right, let's go, let's go call here, boys. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Yusuf. Back to back wins here, Yusuf. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go safe with Bjorn. Bjorn, okay. What are you thinking, Hunter? I think you can't sleep on Brooks, but yeah. at the same time, Bjorn and Jack have been identical all year. I can't pick between them. Okay, Brooks you or Crooks? Okay. You picking Brooks I'll, or Crooks? No, I I was saying don't sleep on Brooks, but I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take Jalexi. Okay. okay, you you take a Cal guy. I'm gonna take Jordan Crooks. Okay, you're taking Crooks. All right, yeah, I'm taking Crooks. Leando's in here too. Leando can go. But I'm going with uh, I'm going with Yusuf, the hot hand. I want him to have another interview. That'd be fantastic. No, I'm I'm liking Jordan. Jordan from Cayman Islands. He's a cool guy. And nice. racing, humble, we're off nice in the water. Uh, Good starts. These guys, these guys have got some underwaters in this one. Why are you breathing on your turn, Jack? Come on, Crooks needs the First oxygen. Brooks, Crooks and Brooks, Crooks and Brooks. Oh, Leander's going for it. Yeah, Leando Leando's showing takes that he must have been oh, saving up. Leando's kicks. Leando's Whoa. showing that speed. Ooh, yeah, he's Leando's. using those underwaters. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, Leendo's having a swim. Leendo's going to take it. He is. Look at those underwaters. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, wow. Beautiful oh. last wall. Leendo all day long. Oh, smoked it. Dang. 40.2 and quick. Oh, look and at him. He dominated. Let's let's get up on the lane line. Get yourself some lane line. Wow. Oh, I should I should have guessed that. He had the fastest fly fly spit last night by a lot. Yeah. He was 42-9 in fly last night. That makes sense. He goes 40 low freestyle. Anthony Nesty, his coach, is fired up. Uh, he owned that. I love that. When you own it mentally, you know, you know your your race plan is to go. I love that. The other boys were in a fight. He just said, you know what? I'm going with my speed. I'm going to use my strengths, my underwaters, and I'm going to attack. Beautiful mentality. Super clean entry. I mean, his underwaters are sick, too. I know. To he's be such a strong guy. Like, he's put together. Mm. That last 25 was awesome. Six kicks. Bang. Linda. Woo. All right. Here we go. Freshman. 40.2. Yeah, he owned that thing. Talk you about all the – talk about these men, you know, being fifth years, and here comes the freshman. Love it. My guy got my guy got eighth. Oh man, he really got eighth. <laughs> he had enough. He had, yeah, Yusuf, he had enough. He's like, I'm, I'm done. He did, he did. You know, he didn't sleep at all last night. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he didn't sleep. Damn it. He had a good morning swim though. Oh yeah, he got in. Forty-one one is for real. Yeah, but no, forty point two. That's legit. I'm curious if if Josh has a Canadian accent. Who called it? Let's go back and see who called it. Leander. Who called Leander? None of us. No, someone did. Some Someone must back. Here, here we go. He said, Leando gets his individual win. Or maybe it was before. Oh, yeah. Jerga, Jerga oh, called Leander. Oh, nice. Good job, Adam. Jerga. Okay. Oh, and Ruslan dumped under 41. That's huge. Who did? Ruslan, the other Canadian. Oh, the Canadians, hey? The Canadian might have a four-by-one here. Ah, uh, they only got two. <laughs> yeah, I need another couple. Yeah, Nesty's all fired up, hey? Good for them. Wow. I mean, look, 40.2, that's crazy. But I, Ruslan, that's a massive drop from him. He was, I think, 41.7. Maybe he didn't even break 42 last year. Wow. I Josh, was it was there an Olympic red shirt around when you were swimming? Not really. No, the first one I had heard about was 2000. But um because you is know there, is there a point to it? You think is, is there is there a, like a fair call to say yeah, makes sense? So you you mean take the year off before the Olympics and just focus on the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like from now, from now until the Olympics, you don't swim next year, college, you just take the year off and swim. I mean, maybe if you're a distance person, that might make sense. But my, my theory, and it was especially back, back in the day, mm. being with the college team is the most entertaining, mm -hmm. most uh, productive way to spend your interim Olympic years mm -hmm. to prepare for the Olympics. I think it's really hard to beat a college team, mm -hmm. a college environment. So unless you're a pro athlete, like Hunter, who's in a, in a, in a pro team. Right. Yeah, I mean, we still no. train with the college kids though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he's, he, you gotta be, I think it really helps to be with a college team. Either you're a pro yeah. with yeah. the college guys or you're a college guy with the college guys. Yeah. But when you when you have more than two years by yourself, it's really hard. Yeah. So I think in a rare case, maybe a guy is super self motivated and can can go without racing and go without the team mojo, and just put in the yardage. Mm -hmm. But really hard. Like even Michael, even Michael went with Michigan and just was just around the Michigan guys, swimming with the Michigan guys. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, just to be around the college, you know, vibe is the best way to, to let those months of training roll by. 
Mm. And stay in a good cycle. All right, we're going to get a podium here. Here we go. Yeah, I looked it up. Um, Jerusalem last year at Big Tens went uh, 42-0, and then NC's dropped to a 41-5. That was his best. So that's almost six tenths drop. And he's and he's Ohio State. He's Ohio State. Cool. Also senior, so he still has his fifth year. Oh, so you trained with him a bunch. Oh yeah, we were great training partners. Mm. I like Cal's um, little jacket, little puffy, cool jacket they have for the podium. Oh, they got a podium jacket, huh? Yeah. Oh. Leando. Leando in six, a little disappointing. And that's a kid who's gone 17 in the 53. Finished six in the 100. A little disappointing. Didn't really use his speed up that front end, did he? Even Brooks Curry in fifth. That's that's a little disappointing for him, too. I guess yeah. uh, I guess this one fast, though. Fast is fast. Jalexi, though. Oh, he is a big boy. You're right. His, I think his little brother looks kind of like you too. Yeah. Um, Jack does have a little brother who I think is coming into Cal next year or the year after. Yeah. 40.2, man. That's moving. Good for him. What a swim. 19-1. 21-1. -one. <laughs> That's a pretty good split. So I'm a little ahead of you, obviously. On that last turn, I'm like, could he touch a 39? Yeah. I, I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to get laughed out of the chat for being wrong, but he was pretty close. I wasn't calling Crooks Leander, by the way. We might be on a different uh, thing here that I'm seeing. My, my, I know who Crooks is and I know who Leander is. I've done podcasts with both these kids. Okay. So what I was looking at was my screen, and you may have been looking at Crooks. I was looking at Leander. So I know who I'm calling here. Don't be playing those games with me. Elizabeth Beisel's interviewing Bob Bowman. So I don't know what they're saying, but but this is a big deal for ASU. This is this is gonna they're on a whole new trajectory. Recruits are gonna want to go there. Bob Bob's got the magic back. Yeah. Yeah, the hot hand helps, doesn't it? Hot hand helps. You get a, a couple of cool foreigners, man. Changes everything does especially one that is swimming as fast as the one they've got dang he is good Whew. he is real good uh reese reese whitley is getting pumped up what do you got any reese stories hunter just that man in the weight room is terrifying he he moves weight crazy weight really But he's also just a big teddy bear. Like, oh yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Oh, really good guy. Yeah. Moss from Alabama, lane six. This is a tough you know, race too. This 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 is one that would tighten you up. It it'd be tough to train for this one. All that time underwater, those pullouts. So I'm, I'm cheering for Jake Foster of Texas in lane eight and Moss from Alabama. Yeah, Derek Moss, a senior from Alabama in lane six. Ooh. Who's lane Derek? one? Is that Jake? No, that's Arsenio Bustos, NC State. Ah. Yeah, you're right. Tough to see these caps. Oh, here comes Reese. Reese is a back half, but Jake has a great two breasts too. Yeah. Oh, here comes Jake down the bottom. Woo. Oh, man. So Cal, ASU, and Texas each have one in this heat. Come on, Reese. Oh, yeah. Come on. Jake Foster. 
straight A pre-med guy, going to be a doctor soon. Awesome guy. Oh, he's having a good swim out there at night. Uh, that hurts. Don't tell us what happened. We're on the uh, one, nope. You're good. We're on the one seventy five. I'm not there yet. Yeah, I'm at the one seventy five. It's tight, man. Dang, it's tight. We just finished for me. Reese is getting beat up though. He he's not looking good in this race. Eric. A quick swims though. Oh, you know what it is? Jeez, Dennis, Louisville. Yeah. Louisville. Man. 151.2, and you're in the console. Yeah, that's, that's some quick swimming. Brett, when you were teaching uh, breaststroke, what do you what do you like to emphasize? I mean, I like the hips to be high. You know, I don't I don't like to drop the hips under underwater. I like the hip to stay really high, so I want them to stay out in front of the stroke. Um, I like I like length in the two hundred, so I I always wanted them to kind of get into their line as quick as they could, hold their lines. But um, yeah, I, I really like a high hip. So whenever I was looking at breaststroke, I wanted I wanted to see the hips at the surface. So we did a lot of work around that. Yeah. Yeah. What helps? What, what drill helps with that? Some fin, some dolphin fin work, or? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you can do you can do breast with flutter kick. You can do it with a with a dolphin kick for sure. Um, I think just I think just like catch in and not not sitting up in your stroke, kind of like catching and leaning leaning into the front of the stroke rather than sitting up high in the stroke. Yeah. I think as soon as, as soon as you sit up high, you know those those hips drop. Yeah, something's but, gonna drop. Yeah. What do we got here? Okay, Cal, Cal's running away with this thing. 400 points. That thing's oh. over over and done with, but uh, Arizona State squarely in second. Looks oh. like looks like that's a that's a given too. I was yeah. trying to remember the last time Texas got third. It's been a while. It's been a long time because it's just been Cal and Texas 1-2 one, one, for the past 12 years, I think. Yeah. I mean, they've just been going back to back. All right, here it is. Oh, we're getting Marshawn again. We got another little treat here. Record in the 200 IM. Record in the 400 IM. Will we see the record in the 200 breaststroke? So the record is 147.9. Oh, that's definitely going, unfortunately. Oh, no, no. He's got the record. Sorry. The, the record's 47.6. He's got the record. Did, did, yeah. He, I think he said that at the Cal dual meet. He, yeah, it looks like he did it in March this year. Yeah. Yep. Because he did it on did it on the fourth of March. Oh yeah, he broke, he, broke, it. he broke Will Lacone's record and uh at a dual meet. I mean they, they suited for the dual meet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But it doesn't make it any less impressive. So 328 in the 400 IM, 136 in the 200 IM, 128 in the 200 free, fastest split of all time, 22-2 in the 50 breast, fastest split of all time. So four fastest of all time so far this week. Wow. Just wait till home course. I know. It's going to – and, he, and it, it'll translate. It'll translate. We're getting some soccer updates, which is always important. Uh, Morocco just beat Brazil in a friendly 2-1. That's, not, that's never good for Brazil. No. Dang. Okay. All right, let's get on this. Here we go. Racing. No extra fly kicks. That's a shame. We could have put a couple in there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> which which country is the worst? I think it, it, Italians are the worst. What do you think? Italians do like a couple of extra fly kicks for sure. No I comment. Just, it's hard. I think everybody's doing it these days. I wouldn't pick a country. I think it's kind of just across the board, a little bit given, you know. But uh, Marshawn doesn't look like he's pumping any extra ones. He's just he's just all pullouts and swimming. He's killing this. Oh, he is already. He, he, 
you see what I mean by high hips? Like his hips are just at the surface and he shoots oh, yeah. forward, you know? Yeah, it's a cool angle he, he's got on his yeah his lower body. It's like really he just cool. he just catches and shoots and he keeps those hips high. I love that. I mean he's only taken five strokes per lap. Fifty point six. <laughs> he's out oh, quick. Snikes, he's going thirty six. He's going forty six. He's going forty six. Yeah, oh for sure. For sure. Cody Miller, Cody Miller's there. He thinks he might go 35, 45. Damn, 45. No, he's not that far ahead, but he's having a good swim. Who's in lane five? Casper Carbo, the Texas guy. Oh, Casper. Yeah, Casper. This is good for Casper. Really Casper's good. Casper's having a good swim, yeah. And lane three. Who's in three? Three and five are having good swims. He hasn't yeah, run Max, away with it. Max and the home crowd is hanging on. He's just not getting tired. Uh, he, he's not running away with it either, though. No, he's yeah, not. He's, he's going to go, what, 46? Wow. 46.9. There we go. Wow, 46.9. Dang. Okay. That's, that's quick. But that's a big deal for Casper and Max to be not that far behind him. Best ever again, 46.9. 46 9. So five, like... five strokes a lap, <laughs> 50 point. The, the ASU guys, they're not going crazy. They're just they're just smiling, like, yeah, this is just what, eating it up. Do. Yeah. I mean, they're probably used to it at this point. They're getting used to it. Yeah. The fifth fifth fastest all time so far this weekend. Here's a question for you guys Could he challenge for an Olympic gold in the 200 breast? Absolutely. As good as that Aussie guy is, and those uh, those Stubbly cook guys, those Japanese guys, they, they he his catch and his fitness is so is superior. Not you know, I think he could easily take them on and, mm. and eke out a gold medal. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's looking like you you go one forty six, and it's not like he's any worse long course. <laughs> the kid can swim. You think Stubbly Cook is doing the stuff he's doing with Bob Bowman? Stubbly Cook's really good. Look, he is he's really good. There's no doubt about that. Well, yeah. I'm not going to take anything away from Stubbly Cook. He is a beast. But um, look, Marshawn could challenge at least. We need we need a challenger. Looks like Stubbly Cook's like running away with it. Like at least Marshawn could challenge, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to beat Milak in the two fly. No one's beaten Milak. Milak's just got that two fly wrapped up. He's just so far ahead. Yeah. You know? Gosh, I'm a, I, it's got to be tempting for Bob to see how many events he, Leon could do long course. Yeah, I mean, it's not like Bob hasn't uh, had experience with uh, win, winning a bunch of gold medals at a single event. Oh, he's in. Leon's doing his interview with Elizabeth and he just, he doesn't even look winded. You know, he just looks, yeah, he looks happy. looks, mm. you know, just it's all part of the process. Yeah. Wow. Five time NCAA champion. NCAA record holder three time. Hey, is that a hell of a year? Jeez. Uh, magnifique. <laughs> magnifique. Well, Paris. I don't know what kind of Paris, he's, he's, gonna, doing. he's gonna put on a show in front of the home crowd in Paris next year. Well, here's the thing. Uh does does he take uh does he turn pro? Does is it worth turning pro now for him? And because the, the Olympics are in Paris, he could cash in, couldn't he? That see, that's what I, I want to know. What is the difference between NIL and what you can do? Hunter, you might have some info here. Oh, yeah. So NIL is great, um, but the thing that restricts us is that you can't get paid for your performance. Mm. So when it comes to a lot of contracts, mm. um, you can't get paid for gold medals, world records, American records, nothing. Oh, okay. So mm. you, know, you can get your flat salary, but it can't really go up and you can't get paid for any accomplishments that you achieve while you're still in the NCAA. So mm. if you got a sponsor to give you a flat fee, like a salary, like you said, 
-hmm. with no performance bonuses, you could still come away with some decent money through the NIL vehicle. For people like Marshawn, absolutely. Um, but NIL is also very restrictive on foreigners. So you can only pick up right, money right. from your country. Right. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. A foreign entity cannot give money to an NC2A athlete. You know, we had a couple of foreigners on OSU yeah. that wanted to do NIL and sign with certain people, but they could only go through mm. one of their country's businesses. Yeah. Well, I uh, guess I guess he's got some decisions to make. I mean, he's going to be the face of the Olympics, I would imagine, with his form going into Paris. Like, there's no French athlete who's as toted as him right now in terms of his capabilities to win multiple Olympic golds, is there? I wouldn't imagine. No. And are you familiar enough if those French folks can make decent money? I mean, look, you know what it's like. Anytime you have a home Olympics, you can make decent money, I believe. You know, like you, you could be the face of many different things going into a home Olympics. Now, that's different when it's just an Olympics itself, even if you're as good as him. But you got a home Olympics, that changes everything. People yeah. want you to be the face of, of whatever it is. Because I got I to gotta believe Florent can just kind of show up and train and make close to six figures. So that means Leon could double that if he wanted to. Yeah. You would think, you would think he could make some cash in, in, in Paris. I mean, there's some, there's some people in Paris with some money, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, he, yeah. Maybe get close to half a mil. Maybe if he plays his cards right and it all goes perfectly, maybe a mil like, like Phelps did. Make some of that Josh Davis 96 money. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy story, Brett. You'll love this. <laughs> I uh, I was late doing my contract with Speedo. Mm. And my agent was just slow on the negotiations. And so we finally got it done right before I went over for finals of the Hunter Free at Olympic Trials. Oh, wow. So I signed my Speedo contract at Olympic Trials right before oh. I race. Oh, damn. Well, I, I make it in the 100, the 200, and all three relays. Hmm. And so I'm stuck with this salary and this contract. And I, I go and get the three gold medals. And I was kind of regretting that I signed that contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got you, they got you early and cheap. I know. So yeah. I was stuck with that for a while, a year. And then the yeah. next year, I was able to up it. But yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. So you got to have a good agent. You got to sign at the right time. Yeah, you got to be smart. They'll they'll try and sign you before your performance, you know? Yeah. What's this saying? How about Marshawn, the two free, four free, long course at Worlds and Olympics? I mean, at this stage, he could probably handpick what he wants to swim, you know, depending on where it is in the program. But yeah, he's good enough to do all those, I'd imagine. Looks like that's what it's for the you would be. Hmm. I think that's his mom and dad in the stands filming him. It must have, like, I'm assuming, why they would zoom in on him. You know, his dad swam at Auburn with us for a while as a as a pro. So he, so they they had him as a little baby on the pool deck at Auburn when I was swimming there. So I'm sure I, I'm sure I must have picked him up as a kid at some point. Holy cow! What was the dad's name? Xavier Xavier Marchand. Is that his? His, dad, Is that his? his dad's Olympic Iama. Mm -hmm. was that yeah. his dad Did you... I, I didn't see it i was actually talking to you guys i wasn't looking at the at the camera so i don't know if they showed him or not but um i'd imagine he's probably there yeah it looked like a dad i mean look like a mm -hmm. yeah. yeah his dad was an olympic i am a great great swimmer too not as wow. good as not as good as his son but definitely real good and uh yeah had it had him on the pool deck at auburn young kid that's cool Small world. I've been I've been asking him to come on the podcast. So he said he was focused on these events. So maybe maybe after this we'll we'll get him. See what happens. Two hundred flies next. That's it, hey. Two hundred fly and then uh, then diving and relay. But I'll uh, I'll probably leave you guys after the two the, after the two fly. I need to get some food. I'm hungry. No, I I haven't eaten either. That diving break is going to be a good snack break. Yeah. 
Two fly here. Okay, what do we got? So we got. Let's have a look who's in this. Gosh, Jack Conger still has the record, one thirty-seven three. Oh wow! Okay, he does. And uh, you know what, Gabriel Jet can swim. He he might he might give that a run. A forty-seven three is pretty. I mean, thirty-seven three is really quick though. But the yeah. Jet can swim too. It took Jack till senior year to get it down there, and Gabriel's only a sophomore, but he's having a great meet. Yeah, right. But um, one forty-two two to make this. Yeah, all these events are just so deep. They're just so competitive, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, under the back all... wasn't too deep this year, but it was it was fast on the top end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think a 45 made it into the A. Yeah. Eddie put me in the 200 fly one year, my junior year, and uh, for NC2As. Oh, really? It was a booger. And I got ninth in the morning. And I was so mad because the final had like six foreign guys. And I was just mad about it. But <laughs> it, was my, it was my own fault. But Josh, how old are you now? Are you fifty? Yeah, I just turned. I turned fifty. Yeah. Okay, there you go. It, it, it's just it's crazy to think that Eddie was your coach and Eddie's still there coaching the, the team right now. Isn't it wild? Yeah, no. So 78, 77, 78 was when he got there. So wow. he had been there a while when I got there. Wow. But That's yeah, it was crazy. We had a. It was November. And we were having a dual meet against USC. And I was racing the fastest 200 fly guy in the country at the time. And I was just swimming scared. Mm. And I, I had never really swam it before. And, but I, had, I was in good shape and had good turns. So I went all out, not knowing, just didn't want to look around. I went 146 at the dual meet. Mm, wow. That's a good and, swim. And then, so he's like, oh, you're doing 200 fly. I didn't see two A's. <laughs> but that's as fast I ever got was that dual meet, 146. Oh, really? You didn't swim faster? No. Yeah. That's funny. Purdue. Purdue wins the console. Boilermakers. Nice. Nice. Wow. Don't sleep on Burns again. Yeah, Burn, Burns is ready to go. I'm not going to sleep on doing this one. Oh, no, never mind. Yes. Yeah, Burn, Burns is doing this. He's in line no, that's six. Princeton, not Purdue. Oh, that was yeah. Princeton, yeah. No, my Princeton. bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, Princeton. Rana Kosla. Kosla. Princeton. A good, good swim. So we've got Indiana, NC State, ASU, Cal, Cal, Indiana. So Indiana's got a couple. NC State's got a couple. Cal's got a couple. And then Michigan. Wow. All right. So Indiana, NC State, Cal. That's basically what it comes down to here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, Cal's. Top two seeds, Indiana's in there. So Brendan Burns seeded fourth, won it last year. And yeah. I was uh <clears throat> I was filming it there in Atlanta and I was filming the race because I was just below his dad and his dad was going nuts. So I was like, I gotta film his dad and the race at the same time. It was so fun. Oh yeah. So Princeton. They're showing shots of the Princeton guy celebrating. Yeah, that's great. It's so something with Brendan here. He did the double last year at NCAA's, I believe. The two back, two fly. Oh, really? Yeah. So he may have he may have a bit more this year. Well, he's gonna need it. He's got some he's got some work to cut, get over the top of Gabe Jet here. What about Gabe? He he pretty tough? Yeah. He's got Gabe the most he's, he's in the zone. He's talking to that kid. I love it. Well, did you know his parents? Yeah, mm -hmm. Scott and uh, Christy. Scott and Christy, yeah, I knew them. They are wonderful people and uh, great sprinters for Auburn. And now, now Jet is a big time middle distance guy. Yeah. So Scott and Christy, we were on the '94 team together. Oh, there's Aiden Hayes from Oklahoma. He's from. Oh, cool. He's from. He's from just down the road from where we are in Oklahoma. And oh, yeah. Luke, my son Luke uh, and Aiden were 
good buds and used to race each other. Mm. Aiden is just blowing up. He's a sophomore now. He's two years younger than my Luke. But um, they pushed each other, and Aiden beat all of Luke's state records, and now Aiden's big time. So to be 140.2 as a sophomore is pretty good. It's awesome. Ooh, Galvin here. You're, are you already in the water? No, I just zoomed over to lane eight. Oh, okay. So there's Gal who won the, the swim-off. These guys had a swim-off this morning. A, a gal, gal from Michigan and uh, Martin from Tennessee, they had a swim off for eighth place this morning. Oh. And that's a, that's a hard event to do a swim off. Oh, that the, the, the Tennessee kid just finished last, I think, in the B final. Oh, he did. Oh. Yeah, that was his third one of the day. Yeah. So what's crazy, though, is they tied with a 141.39. Mm. And then on the swim off, Gal was one one hundredth off, one forty one four zero. Oh wow! And then Martin was only a tenth behind, one forty one five. So that was a heck of a swim off. Only a tenth separated them. Yeah. Wow. Gabe Jet looks like he's uh, in control, smooth. But uh, Burns, Burns is going for it, eh? Out here in uh, yeah, forty six, forty six at the turn. Yeah, Burns is making a move at the hundred. Gabe's last, Gabe's last wall will be really good, but I don't know if it'll be enough. No, he's coming. Mm -hmm. He's coming around. He looks. He looks sharp. But Burn, Burn. Burns is holding on. He's got good underwaters. Who yeah. does good have good Burns. underwaters? Oh yeah, Burns. Burns wants this one. Wow, nine kicks. Oh, dang, he's holding on to those kicks. Look at him. I went against him in the eight free relay, and he kicked the fifteen on every single wall there too. Who's in lane two here? That's uh, this NC State Hayes kid. Yeah, he's having a good swim too. Looks like Brendan Burns again. Oh, Hayes gets him. Oh, he did. Hayes got him. Thirty-eight. Oh, wow. just... NC State. It all came to the finish. Nikes. Aiden oh, Hayes wow. from Oklahoma, NC State. Oh, there he is, the Oklahoma kid. Oh, my goodness. 38-7. He drops two seconds. Oh, wow. The sophomore wow. from Oklahoma. My, oh. son, my son's buddy. Oh, he's Holy flexing cow. up on him. Flexing up on him, too. I watched this kid grow up. Really? Wow. Yeah, he just keeps getting faster. He's got the dolphin kick gift. Yeah. He's, got yeah. the, he's got the uh, catch gift. He's yeah, got the he racing back. gift. Racing and, gift, yeah, the racing gift. That's a big one. His God, last fifty was did. was great. Oh, he, he's, he he's turned almost, third with fifty to go. Yeah, no, he 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 was smooth. He relaxed in the middle. Oh, his so last has, wall. He, his last wall was epic. Well, he's got he's got the perfect frame. Real, he put on some muscle. He's got a real slight frame, but he put on enough muscle where he just mm. cuts that water really nice. Great finish, head down, attack the wall, boom. That's a win every oh, day of the week. my goodness. 38 is solid for and a sophomore. He gives the Hunter Armstrong slap of the water in, <laughs> in celebration. There we go. Boom. Yeah, that looks like you, Hunter. Gabe Jett did not have a good swim there. He did not. He didn't swim well. I mean, he was faster this morning, was he not? He went 38 this morning. No, 39.7, so it was about the same. Okay. Yeah, still huge points for Cal, third and fourth, huge. Yeah. Right. Oklahoma. We mm. Oklahoma song. All right, Aiden interviewing with Elizabeth Beisel. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go on mute and listen. All right. What about that, Hunter? NC State moves within seven points of Texas for third overall. I think <laughs> NC State will end up taking the relay. Yeah. Not not winning, not winning, but yeah. over Texas. Over Texas. Yeah. What, what about if they do that? This, this is coming well, down to the wire. I know. It's a good point. If we get our diving a little bit, but I think NC State might have a diver. So anyway, 
But yeah, if NC State beats us by four or five places in the relay, yeah. Yeah. NC State could could get third and we get Texas fourth. Oh, oh wow, that yeah, that'd be shocking. Oh. Shocking. Braden Holloway giving big hugs to Aiden Hayes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Platform diving coming up. Boys, listen, hey, it's been an honor and a privilege. Thank you so much for being in the comments last night. Thank you for immediately saying you come on the show. Loved it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Course. Brett, thanks for all you do. Hunter, look forward to seeing you next time. See you soon. Lane line, sit. Lane line. <laughs> <laughs>